This is what we're making today. Chicken tofu pudding. This is a whole chicken. We're gonna break it down and then debone it. We're gonna start off by cutting up the backbone with some scissors. We're gonna set the backbone aside and save it for stock. After taking out the backbone, we have the wings, the breast, and the leg and thigh. By taking out the backbone, it makes it easy to remove the leg and thigh. We're simply gonna cut it off and then set it aside. Next, we're gonna remove the wings. We're simply gonna pop the drumette off the breastplate and then cut it up. And then finally, we're simply gonna remove the breast meat off the breastplate. Once the breast meat is removed, we're going to take the breast plate and save it for stock. And these are the parts of the chicken. Now, we're going to extract the bone from the leg and thigh. We're simply going to make an incision parallel to the bone on the leg and the thigh and then dig it out with our knife. Make sure you scrape all the meat off of the bone before we cut it out. We're going to save the bones for stock and the thigh meat will be used for consomme. And this is our thigh and leg meat deboned. Next, we're gonna make our mirepoix for our stock. We're gonna roughly chop one part carrot, one part celery, and two parts onions. Now we're gonna begin our stock. In a pot of cold water, we're gonna dump all our bones in. We're simply gonna bring this to a boil and then discard the water. Once the water was discarded, I washed the bones, refilled it with cold water, and added in our mirepoix. We're going to bring the stock to a simmer, which would then lead some scum to rise to the top. We're going to skim that scum off until the stock is clear, and then add in our sachet of thyme, oregano, and sage. We're going to simmer the stock off for 6 hours. Now it's time to take a nap. After 6 hours, this is what our stock looks like. We're going to strain this stock through a coffee filter. Once it's all strained, we're going to set it aside and let it cool down at room temperature. Next, we're going to take off the skin off the breast and thigh. We're going to mince both meats up. We're going to keep the minced meat separate. The breast will be used specifically to make the chicken mousse. And if you guys haven't noticed already, there's no actual tofu in this recipe. It's called chicken tofu pudding because the chicken looks like tofu. Just like in Shao's dessert, almond tofu. To your right is the white meat and to your left is the dark meat. This is a ham steak. We're simply going to cut this up into little pieces and then incorporate it into the chicken pudding and the consomme. We're also going to cut up another set of mirepoix small dice for our consomme. Now let's begin making our consomme. In a pot, we're going to throw in our thigh leg meat, two egg whites, our mirepoix which is 100 grams of celery, 100 grams of carrots, and 200 grams of onions. This is not normally used in the consomme, but we're also going to add in 100 grams of ham. Once that's all in, we're going to add in 2 liters of our cold chicken stock. We're going to turn up the flame to high heat and then constantly mix our consomme. Once the raft starts forming, we're going to turn down the heat to low. The way this works is the egg whites gathers all the impurities from the soup as it flows to the top. We're going to simmer this for 2 hours to let the consomme develop in flavor. Next, we're going to make the chicken pudding. In a blender, we're going to add in our breast meat and then give it a good pulse. Once it's finally grounded, we're going to add in one egg white and half a cup of cream. We're going to ground this up until the chicken has the consistency of a smooth paste. What we're really making here is a chicken mousse. Once 
Once it's a smooth paste, we're going to layer it into a mold. Once we've formed the outside of the mold with chicken, we're going to place the ham in the middle and then cover it up with more chicken. We're going to steam this for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, our chicken pudding should be done. We're going to take it out of the steamer and remove it from its mold. As the chicken cools down, it will shrink and remove itself from the mold. We're simply going to flip it over onto a plate. Next, we're going to simply shave this carrot. This will replace the snapdragon flower, since I don't actually know if that exists. After 2 hours, this is our consomme. Look how it turned into a golden brown color. Now we're going to strain it. After straining it, we're going to put it back onto the stove, bring it to a boil, and now let's get ready to plate. If you guys don't know what these red things are, they're goji berries. It's the same garnish I use in almond tofu. Now let's break apart this pudding and give it a taste. Honestly, that tasted like a chicken meatball to me, with the consistency of a chicken breast. Is it good? It felt a little dry. Honestly, if I was to recook this again, I would not steam the mousse, I would cook it low and slow with the mold submerged in simmering water. I feel like that would give us a less dry texture. As for the soup itself, I mean it's a consummate soup. It's flavorful, it's delicious, it's very chickeny. It also has a subtle hint of ham because of the 100 grams of ham we threw into the consomme. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Overall, it was a pretty good dish. I would improve a couple things for the next time I make it, but I'm pretty satisfied with this one. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.